Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and uh, yeah, I am starting this haul video with my favorite item I have received. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm starting this haul showing you guys the Audi. This is literally a huge blanket sweater that I received um, from the Audi for my review. I am absolutely in love with it. I have worn it every single morning. It's like that August to fall transition period, so my mornings are really cold, and this is perfect. I drink my coffee in it, um, and I guess I'll stand up and, like, actually show you guys. I just wanted you to see me in, like, the epitome of pure comfort before I started this video. Okay, this is it. This is this, like, super comfy, cozy, oh, you can't see it because the white balance, come on, super, like, oh my god, like a marshmallowy soft softest material I think I've ever held in my life in a like jacket uh blanket type scenario oh my god I like have I've been really excited about given being given stuff before but this was like an actual dream I have worn this ever since I opened it is it flattering yes it is obviously you can see my figure so great in this um yeah it is the warmest comfiest I'm kind of sweating now that I put it on uh type material it's gonna be perfect for Canadian winters. Guys, the Audi is so great. I actually have a discount code to give you guys. I will link it in my description box so that you can get one of these for yourself. They're literally the comfiest thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not just saying it. Look at the sleeve. Like, the reason the sleeve is so big is because it's, like, blanket. It's that, like, powdery material on the inside. I am thinking that this is my new airport outfit. I think that this at an airport, like if we could socially make that okay, that's all I want from life is to be able to wear my Audi down the airport with my luggage and walk like this. It literally goes so far down, guys. It goes like to my calves. Like it is a proper dress. If I belt it, could I like make it fashion? <laughs> um, and it's got this huge pocket too, which is like my little snack pocket. I was on my period and this was like the thing I, lived in all week. I had my little chips in here and my little chocolates that I just took out and ate. I seriously love my Audi. Guys, I recommend it so much. Go ahead and check out the link to get yourself one. Note that I'm trying to pressure you guys, but I do have to say it's so worth having one. So like every fall haul that I do, I have a variety of items from a variety of different stores. This isn't just a one-off haul, so yeah, I've got like specific piles on my bed laid out from like what I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna start with the thrifted stuff. I will tell you what brand it is, but um, obviously there's no promises that it will be in stock. It is thrifted, of course, but I am such a thrift connoisseur that I am gonna show you anyways. The very first item I'll show you is a burgundy blazer. It is super long. It's definitely one of those blazers that like you can make into a dress and I totally plan on wearing it with like some shorts underneath as a dress. It's got this like cool detail on the back too. It's probably my, it's not my most fall piece, but it is definitely the falliest piece in this haul. Just because it's got that, that blazer trend that's going to be huge this fall and it's got the like burgundy color that is like it just makes you think of fall when you see it. Uh, I'm like what I'm wearing right now. Uh, if you guys saw my Zaffle haul. This cardigan is from Zaffle and my dress is from Dynamite in case you were wondering. So I'm super excited. I haven't tried this on in so long because it's been so hot that I can't wear this yet. So it's gonna be fun to try it on for the haul and just remember why I loved it and why I bought it. Okay, I am still debating between filming in my mirror to actually show you the full body shot of what the item looks like or not. Um, I'm holding it closed. <laughs> Um, or showing you in my traditional way where I stand up here. I can show you the full length of the outfit. Oh my god, my room is so messy. I'm so s sorry. It's just my store takes over absolutely everything. I just have boxes and boxes of clothing all over the place. Uh, yeah, but here is the blazer. Guys, it is perfect length for a dress. Oh, you can literally hear my dad scolding my puppy downstairs. I'm sorry, guys. Brand is... Jessica. Next, I was actually thinking of selling this in my store until I tried it on for myself and realized that I want it um, and that I didn't want to sell it. Will I eventually sell it? Maybe. But until that decision is made, I'm going to wear it and I'm going to love it. It's this 
little pleated skirt. It's Forever 21 brand and it's just like a plain gray skirt with a little preppy line at the bottom. I don't know why, but this preppy trend that's going on right now, it's always been one of my favorites. Like it is seriously, I used to like scour the internet for hours and hours trying to find pleated skirts and the fact that pleated skirts are now coming back in is, it just makes everything so much easier. Cause like when you love a trend so, so much, um, that you literally are scouring like Korean websites because like if that trend is big there but it hasn't yet hit the American market, it can take hours of your time looking for that specific item. So the fact that pleated skirts are coming back in makes me so happy that I don't need to like look at like like Halloween costumes to get my pleated skirts. And this is the pleated skirt on. Um, I probably would not just pair it with a plain top. I would probably pair it with a little toasty cardigan, uh, which you'll see me grab one later, so maybe I will throw this skirt on later as well. It just is simple A-line skirt. It has a little zip on the side, and honestly, for my body type, I find it so hard to find a pleated skirt that fits here, and then, like, you know, has the actual A-frame to it, and is not just, like, uh, like, big around my waist because the size of my bottom is not the size of my waist, so... The next one, oh my god, shout out to my friend Dakota for finding this because it is new with tags. Um, the brand is Morning Mist and it is this, uh, perfect fall romper. It's got big bellowy sleeves and this very, like, flowy fabric. So high quality, it's literally perfect. Okay, the lighting is so bad for this, so I'm gonna flip it around because it's short enough to show you the full outfit. Seriously, look. I got this thrift shopping and it has this tie-in thing where I can tie it. I tied it as tight as it could go or something like that just so that it cinched me in and then flared out very prettily. It is, it's a good length. Like, I mean, it could be like an inch longer, but for the fact that I got this thrift shopping, new tags, I don't care. I even went and looked up Morning Mist, like the brand that is on, that was written on the tag, and I could not find them anywhere, so I couldn't give myself a sort of like price point on how much this would be normally, but I can't complain because this is, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I'm gonna take pictures with my thumbnail and like it will literally just be this. Cool, I took off my cardigan because it is getting so hot out today. The next um, items I'm gonna show you, I embarrassed myself, but I will tell you a story is that I went to Brandy Melville and it's like this weird thing on TikTok to make fun of girls who wait in line at the Queen Street Toronto Brandy Melville. Um, and I was in Toronto visiting my, my best friend, Abby, and I she was at work and I had I had a whole day to kill. I had her eight hour shift to kill and I was like, well, whatever, like I'll wait in line for an hour. It's not that bad. But the hour passed and I was still in line, um, waiting in line at Brandy. And I was like, well, I can't leave now because I just wasted an hour. So I wasted like another hour and a half. I think it was two and a half hours in line. And when I finally got in, I was like, I need to buy something because if I don't, then like I, I have wasted my time. So I did end up getting three items, which I love. So in the end, that story was, it was okay because I did find items that I love, but like, damn, it's embarrassing. And it's not something I will do again. It, I will literally never wait in line at a Brandy Melville again, mark my words. This skirt that I got, um, their items are one size, which like, no, um, but I don't know why. I was like, I will totally fit into a Brandy Melville one size skirt, even though my bottom is not a Brandy Melville one size, but this skirt does fit. It doesn't fit like the most comfortable skirt I've ever tried on in my life, but it does fit. So I, I am happy with it. I'm going to keep it and I do love it. Like this skirt material wise, like I know that, um, Shein has these skirts and the same exact like print and the same exact uh, cut and style, but the quality of Brandy is just like, you pay for the quality that you're getting. So I was very excited to see that this skirt feels glorious. So yeah, it is, has these little pleats. I feel like because it has the pleats, I can actually walk in it. It is not the most comfy skirt in the world. Would I buy it again, knowing how it fits? Probably not, but if I just wanted to wear it knowing I was just gonna stand up the entire night, then I'd be okay with that, because this is a pretty cute outfit. The next one, I'm actually planning on wearing it today. It still has the tag on it, so maybe I'll take that off. Did that just cringe some people that I ripped off the tag? Um, it is this little cropped sweater. 
super little. Um, the thing that Brandy I find does well for people that fit in Brandy, which by the way, now that I'm thinking about it, is like super rude of them to make one size and have the one size this small. But the thing about Brandy is I find they make really good basics, like they make really good like classic sweater type deal. So I'm gonna wear this today over top of a red dress and I'm super excited about it because I feel like it'll be a really cute classic look. So this was short enough that I figured I would show it in this viewpoint instead of my mirror. Um, maybe I should put a bra on for this, but I just don't feel like it. So this is how the outfit fits. Again, one size is not, a, it's not a real size. Um, so it is, the skirt is a little bit tight on me. The sweater fits okay. I knew going into it that it was a tighter sweater, but I still really like the outfit. I like the tones that this outfit has. I like that it is white with just the little hint of blue. So wearing it together just kind of makes sense for me. The very last item is another basic. It is just simply this knit cardigan I got from them. Again, just a really good staple. I've just figured I could wear it with a pleated skirt and be Blair Waldorf a little bit. So that is why I picked that one up. And this is just the cardigan on. I can wear it one button. I can wear it no button. I can button all four of them up like this, but I just, for the outfit purposes, just wanted to show you what it looks like in that sort of new trendy style where you just do the top button up. The next items I have from Winners. If you guys don't have Winners in Canada, I know the American version is Kmart, I believe. Um, it is just like a discount store of a bunch of different brands. So I'm going to show you what I got from Winners, but of course I will tell you the brand that it is made in. The first one I got is this, it might not be fall, it is long sleeves though, and ruffly, really pretty open back dress. Um, it is, the brand is Topshop, but I literally got it for like $16, so I think that's absolutely insane beautiful bright pink. I don't own anything in this color, but I feel like uh, with my newly dyed hair, it'll like look so awesome and like super just like attention grabbing and just really pop. Uh, yeah, this is seriously, even on camera, the camera is picking this up as like the brightest dress I could possibly be wearing right now, but it's so gorgeous. I love this color. There is something about this magenta pink paired with like a red that I absolutely adore so maybe even like this outfit but with a red lip and like a red shoe or a little purse is that too much yeah and then showing it in the mirror just kind of shows you how it falls on my legs oh my god it's so pretty the next one I bought mainly because I bought my first pair of Levi jeans and now I suddenly love Levi's and I was really wary about buying this uh, jacket. I believe it's in a size large or extra large or something like that. It's just this huge jacket that's so warm and comfortable. I got it from Winners, so I got it at a discounted price. It wasn't like the exact price that I would pay if I got it at Levi's. It's got a belt around it. I didn't know if I would love this. This is not my typical style to get like an oversized baggy jean jacket. I literally own one jean jacket for years so this is like my second one that I own so I was wary about spending it was $50 I was wary about spending the money on it but I've worn it so much ever since I bought it that I'm like oh well that was obviously worth it oh it's just so comfy it is like a heavy jacket it is so heavy that like I feel it on my body like I feel a little weighed down by it but in like the same way that I'm weighed down by like an anti-anxiety blanket. <laughs> yeah, this is the Levi's jacket. I have masks in my pocket. I have two masks in my pocket. How, how COVID of me. <laughs> and then it has this waist tie belt detail. So if I'm feeling cold and chilly, I'm just like walk around like this. It's so long that I absolutely can just wear it as a dress. I paired it just with my lemon leggings. Um, it is yeah, it's comfy, it's cozy, and it's a classic that I didn't have in my wardrobe, and now I have in my wardrobe. The next thing I bought at Winners, oh god, what brand is this? Um, it's from the brand Nanette, N Nanette Lepore. Um, I know the brand sounds familiar, but I honestly could not tell you where I've heard it before. I just bought it for work. We are currently not back in our office yet, but there is talk that we will be back in September, so... This is a long wool, wool, cashmere, I don't know actually what's the fabric, it doesn't say on there and I'm too lazy to look. Uh, yeah, it's this super long, so like buttery soft but like thick cardigan that I bought just because we have a basement office and I know that this will be very business professional that I can throw it on if I need to go on a board meeting but it is just a simple black cardigan but I felt like it was 
so needed. I don't plan on being in, in Canada for Canada's winter if everything goes as planned and I'm actually able to move. That would be sick. So I think that this is something you might not be excited with and I had such a hard time purchasing it because I knew it wasn't one of those pieces that I would like absolutely adore and need my wardrobe. But it is just a simple long cardigan. It falls it falls to my knee and it's just warm and cozy. Like I said earlier, I can literally just wear this in a meeting and feel like confident that I still look professional, but also am in a cardigan, am in a wrap cardigan. The next thing I'm gonna show you is something I spent um, more money on an item, it's two items of clothing than I have ever spent in my life. This cost more than my prom dress. I will show you it. It is this two-piece set I got from Aritzia. It is this little skirt and then this sort of matching Chanel-esque top with the buttons on it. Guys, I have been eyeing this since the beginning of quarantine when everyone went shopping crazy. I also went shopping crazy and I was looking at this Aritzia thing and I could never justify it. I was like, this is absolutely insane. I can't spend $250 on like a suit. Like even if I wear it to work every single day, that just sounds absurd. But then months passed, like, oh, like what? We've been in quarantine since March. August happened. I went to Toronto. I went to Aritzia. Probably my first time even ever being in an Aritzia store. Maybe that's a lie. My first purchase from them. Um, and then I saw the suit was there and I was like, man, what are the odds? Like, it's not even available online anymore. I tried it on. <sighs> I went to the big communal mirrors and the girl was being so nice, telling me how cute it looked. And I just, I was like, screw it. It's the fact that this is still here. Like, it's a sign that I need this suit. So if you guys follow me on TikTok, you will have absolutely seen this article of clothing before. It's so nice. Oh, is that a teeny rip? Look, does that look like it's gonna open up further? How dare they? Oh, my camera's not catching that. How dare they? Chanel, um, back when quarantine began, I learned 1960s fashion. It was 1960s, right? Yeah, I think so. No, it was the 40s. No, it was the early 60s when the Chanel new look, no, new look was not Chanel, but when the Chanel suit came in because it was Chanel's response to the new look. The new look is the very fitted silhouette that you would see with like a very puffy skirt. Um, the Chanel suit was Coco Chanel's response to that because she hated the silhouette. She wanted it more boxy, which ironic because this is not boxy on me. So her style has changed over the years. I mean, it's not Chanel, but like her, her inspiration has changed over the years. But it was also because she like in the 1950s. Yeah, okay, it was the 1950s. Oh, sorry, going all over with this tangent. Yeah, it was 1950s. It was right after World War II and Chanel was like, pro-Nazi and that was her like thing to kind of like get back in the spotlight was coming out with the Chanel suit which is like an iconic look <laughs> but like super convoluted in history and like don't know how I feel about wearing something inspired by it but I mean no money is going to her right now she's dead <laughs> but in contrast to Aritzia. I now have these stuff I've gotten from Shein or Shine or however you say it that are a little bit more affordable. If you're watching this video, decide you want something from this haul. Something I got, you can't buy it as a two piece set, but for some weird reason, Shein has like this exact fabric in literally every single article of clothing. So I was able to pick up a blazer with a matching pleated skirt. So, very one, I could wear this, I could wear either pieces alone, but two, so uh, clueless vibes and like I know a lot of people like go as clueless for Halloween but I don't think I'm gonna use this for like Halloween purposes I think I could totally just rock this outfit from a small town so like that's kind of hard but I think I can just rock this off outfit probably just wear it to work I work in marketing but I also work in the arts sector so we love a good creative outfit so for this look I would probably have a white underpiece just to like make it more color correct <laughs> but I just happen to have this black one on from everything else I've been trying on so I am keeping that on guys this is my share suit this blazer also has a little button I don't know how I feel about the button but I do know how I feel about this it's so cute I feel like I could seriously rock this in a not casual way at all at a very casual function so that's what fashion is about isn't it because <laughs> the next item I got is 
this two-piece set. Oh, it does zip her up. It is this like bright pink two-piece set. Um, obviously this isn't exactly the most fall outfit. Um, I did buy it in the summer. I just haven't shown it to you guys yet. So I figured I would show it in this haul since I was doing it anyways. So I don't have to do like a separate she in haul. Um, it is this little blazer and then a little mini skirt. It is so Bratz doll. Like I could wear this in real life or I could wear it as a Halloween costume and literally be a Bratz doll. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have totally seen this one before. Um, again, I would probably wear it with a white underneath, but I don't think the black looks that awful with this bright and vibrant pink. I have owned this for a while though and I have yet to find, although we are still in quarantine and not a lot of social events are going on right now, but I've yet to find an excuse to wear this outfit to an outing. Um, so I am gonna see how I feel about this. Um, I am being very picky with my wardrobe lately just because I do have an online thrift store so I am able to sell my items and I will always need items to go into my online thrift store so the majority of those clothing, uh, like the vast majority is just clothes that I, I'm so picky about but because I'm preparing for a big move which will or might not happen because of COVID. Um, I am trying to fit my life in two suitcases. So, and if you didn't get the gist from my channel, I do own a lot of clothing. Uh, yeah, let me just show you this in the mirror. <laughs> so it is, it has this almost like business feel to it. I wonder, I'm gonna say I could wear it to work and literally all of you will be like, uh, there's no way, but I think I actually could wear it to work. I think it's because it's got the shoulder pads um, and it's not like, an overly short skirt, like I can put my arm down, I think that I could pair this really well and wear it back when work starts up. The next dress I know you've seen before. Uh, I did wear it in my last video that I filmed, um, but I never gave it like the time to like actually stand up and show you guys. It is this corset baby doll milkmaid? Not baby doll. Yeah. Milkmaid dress that I got from Shein. It's got a big slit down the middle. If you guys have seen like my one viral TikTok, um, this is the dress that I am wearing in that TikTok and I literally got it at Shein for, I believe it's like $28 and I went and looked at it, like of course I'll link everything down below, but I went and looked at it to see what the price was and they added it in a bunch of different colors. I'm kind of sad because I think that if I were to do it again, I would have gotten it in pink and not blue, but like, I mean, either way I love it, either way it, the dress now means so much to me because it got me my like, small little corner of like TikTok fame so I absolutely adore that dress and like every time I look at it I'm like oh, maybe I'll be recognized going down the street like I just I have not worn it since filming that video and I'm kind of too scared to. Okay my favorite thing about this dress is that I can wear it like this like off the shoulder so it's very like collarbone-y which I love I love to show off the collarbones um or I can put it up like this and feel more secure like I'm not gonna fall out gorgeous falls at the perfect length an actual princess a very aurora very cinderella and oh, one of my favorite things that I don't wear <laughs> this dress this dress I love so much like even just I'm looking at the viewfinder and even just how the color appears on camera like so similar to this exact color in real life it is it is gold like it is this like burnt gold color i'm pretty sure i got it in like the 90s section on jeans so, like you might need to look a little bit um but it is this yeah just a little mini dress that's satin i feel like i can wear it in so many different ways i have so many ideas on how to wear this so i'm super excited about it so this is just a very simple silhouette um it's so like I mean, it's a nighty. Like, you really can't get any more simple than how it is fitting. But I just... Something about this color. I actually own this dress. Um, ironically, I got this dress, this in pink on my Zaffle haul. And then whenever I saw it on Shein, I decided to buy it because it is a dress I enjoy. And these are, like, my two favorite colors. Like, a good... This... I mean, my two favorite colors are pink and yellow. And this is, like... A yellow in its most primal form. The very last item is also like a trend alert, guys. I think it's clear for everyone that corsets are coming in. This is the Chi In version of a corset I've seen so many companies do. I don't know why, but there's something about this that is so flattering on my body that I absolutely adore this corset. It's got a scrunched back, so it like adjusts to your size and then just the cut and the buttons and everything like that. It is the most flattering thing. I also love, 
I love a satin material or a silk material. Um, it just seriously feels like butter. It's like comfortable, but then also gives this like sh super shiny, pretty illusion. I have a feeling that in two seconds, my puppy is gonna burst into my room because she hears me talking to you guys on the camera. Guys, this is the corset. See what I mean about it? Just like, I'm not wearing a bra. So that's huge. Like this fits nicely. It holds me up really nicely. And then do the eyes sort of follow down, which just rubbed against my crotch. That was cool. Which like if you're thinking fashion wise, you always want your eyes to follow like the best points of you that you deem the best, which is different for everybody. Yeah. Would I normally pair these with jeans? I am unsure, but I do think that actually maybe I could. Do you think that these jeans fit gloriously? I got them at Boathouse. They were a little bit expensive because, I mean, they are Levi's jeans. But for like the one or two pairs of jeans I own, these were good. These were a worthy investment in that. Wow, I am so glad that throughout the duration of the video, we got to watch my hair start curled and end like this frizzy mess. Uh, thank you guys for watching the slow descent of humidity taking over my hair um, and for watching this video. I really have fun, especially fall fashion is like one of my favorite times of the year for fashion, so I had a lot of fun filming this video. This is not my only haul that will be coming up. This was just a collective of stuff I've bought over the summer for my fall stuff. I still know that I will have a few more fall hauls coming up because um, I have a shopping addiction. <laughs> So like this video if you guys like this video, subscribe if you feel like subscribing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!